<laughs> hey, what is going up, guys? My name is Olo6, and I've just seen this comment of Creepy's Creepy Plays who asked the tutorial for the gym speedrun that I made of the Team Fortress 2 logo. So it ended up something like this. I do believe I have the original one in here. I'm not sure, but um, maybe. Uh, no, I, no, I don't think I have it anymore. Well, so I don't have the original one, but um, I do believe I can recreate something like this. It is <laughs> pretty basic, so uh, I'll just get right into it and hope this will be a very quick tutorial. So first you just go to Google with your favorite internet browser, go to images, and obviously King Fortress 2 and also add the PNG, uh, which defines the type of the image file. We need a PNG file and add a logo between those two, so it will just be the logo. We want this circle bit. Um, you can also click on search tools and choose a large size, because uh, usually uh, larger sizes in images mean better pictures. So I think this one is good. Or should I search for like? Um, I think I've used this one. I think that's the original one I used, and it looks a bit better than this one. So I'll go with this. Yeah, this one is kind of fucked up. It's not really precise. The circle is and in the middle, and this one is just like the original one. So right click on it. Click on copy image. Um, if you don't have it, you could just right click and save image as and then just drag it to your gym thing. So, oh, that's my recording thingy. Um, yeah, this is the gym image manipulation program. Uh, it's basically like Photoshop. I'm, I won't be really teaching how to use it right now. But um, there's a lot of tutorials on YouTube on how to do that. I'll just go through what we need for on um, this specific result of image so make a new um, image I'll choose 180 but by 1020 1920 by 1080 because it's a 10 that's a 1080p HD display and you just make sure it's enlarged before copying so just paste it in here control V or whatever you'd like um, okay, so we'll, now we need to separate the actual um, logo from its white whitish background. Um, it is pretty simple. You can just click on uh, silk by color and just take the um, white bits out, so it won't be white really. Um, hang on a second. Oh, my computer is kind of fucked. I don't know why, but it starts to make weird stuff right now. So just make another layer and uh, put it below the... There we go. So just make another layer, put it below the original one. You can hide the original one for a second. And make it black, because that's how we'll know if we have transparency. As you can see, it is white, so that's meaning we don't have a transparency channel. So just click, right click on it and click on add alpha channel. Now it will have transparency, which is what we actually need. So you take the white bits and just delete them. You can also click on select um, feather by around three pixels, just to make it smooth so it won't look like you cropped it. I think that's good enough. It does look a bit weird on those ends. I can try to get those as well. Let's see. Okay, and select better. Three should be fine. Just delete those. Now it looks pretty weird right now. No, it doesn't look well. It's not what I wanted. We can though try and give it a specific um, let's see for a second just get rid of those 
real quick. There we go. That's done. All right. Um, so it doesn't look much um, well on an actual 100% view. Let's try to give it the mask. Take its uh, grayscale copy. Does this, does this do any good for us? No, it doesn't. We still need to find a way to crop this out. This is usually the annoying part because I always forget how to do it when I do it right. And I end up just fucking it all up. Um, I think I'll just re edit. Um, we can try and take those like this from here instead of controlling the white thing is we can just go for those no, I don't like it being so it looks pretty corrupt um, no 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 it's getting fucked uh, let's select feather let's make it a 5 see if that does any good for us and what do we have yeah that's pretty smooth let's make it 100% yes that is very smooth Okay, so there we go, we figured it out. Just select by color, click on somewhere on the white thing. Uh, the threshold should be around 50, and then you'll just um, feather it up to five, then delete it a couple of times, and it will give you this result. Now we're just getting rid of the leftovers of the white background. And there we go, we have the logo for ourselves. It's pretty cool. So. Let's see, I made it a bit whitish, so obviously we'll have to add a layer mask and transfer layers alpha channel, that should be good. Yeah, the mask is pretty satisfying, looks pretty sharp. Now we just add it um, whatever color you actually want. We can make it bluish if you want, it doesn't really matter. That looks pretty neat. On a white background it will look pretty cool, I'm telling you right away. Make it uh, something like this. Maybe add the gray to it. Will that work? Um, like this. Okay, that's also nice. Um, but I, I don't know, he, he wanted me to do this one. Hmm. Should I improvise or just go with the original one? I still let's just go with the original one. So, pick black and also something gray, around 30 for value, that should be okay. Just blend whole background. Oops, that's the wrong gradient. That's the inverse gradient, but never mind. There we go, just blend it nice and easy in there. I also suggest you might blend it a bit like outside of the actual image size to make it even smoother. Um, let's see in here we want it to be pretty much gray but sort of white. I think I'll make it a bit less light because it'd be preferred to be sort of darker. I actually have a nice idea. Can just make a circle in here Yes, that's pretty good. Now, um, select feather, say 200, and just add something a bit lighter in the middle. Does that do anything? No, it doesn't do anything. So let's make the circle a bit more bigger, <laughs> so it will actually do something. Okay, we have the circle, select feather. Let's try by 150. Am I doing something wrong? No, it's just very... Yeah, let's make it a big one. So it will actually be... Well, that's the wrong... There we go. So just make a big circle around the middle, something like this. This should be fine. This should be visible. And then feather it out. Say 100 pixels. And now just add something why doesn't this work? 
is very weird. Let's. No, it, it should work. Oh, I'm probably. Yes, I'm on fucking similar colors. Choose fill hole selection and, and then just. Uh, there we go. And then just edit in the middle. Um, we can further it by another 150. Make it a bit less white. There we go. Something like this. That's nice. If you want to, you can also add some uh, shading from your own on here. We'll make it sort of three dimensional. Give the sort of three dimensional look, which will make it a bit nicer. Um, yeah, that's nice. It's a bit improvising, but uh, want to make something a bit uh, more original than the original, so this is what we'll do. I also want to, ma to make it a bit more darker on those edges in here. Oops, it's the wrong layer. Let's use 25. There we go. No, it's too much. I'm very bad at this shading stuff. But, uh... <laughs> I do try. A lot. do this there we go on 100% it looks pretty weird <laughs> uh, we could try and blur it out I don't know just do anything okay it looks better all right we'll keep it like that that's fine it's good enough I might as well um, make a uh, opacity 30 around 40 and just fill it with one singular color. Whoa, that's the wrong one. We need the mask in here. Yeah, to make it uh, appear less weirdish. That's that's nice. Okay. So you can do really whatever you want with this. I'm just showing you guys the concept. Now I made it a bit three dimensional. I don't really remember how. Uh, let's see in here. I think I've used motion blur, and then I just. Chances are I did use motion blur. Let's see. No, I just made another layer. Yeah, so that's pretty simple. So you just um, duplicate this layer, get the bottom one, move it a little bit, just enough so you could see. Um, is that okay? Yeah, it looks pretty fine. And I would just give it a single color. Make sure to give it a mask. There we go. Give it that beautiful color. Um, you can also use a bit shading on here too. Like make this, for example, darker area. We'll use the paintbrush for this. This one should be lighter. We also, we can make it pretty glossy if we want to. It's really all up to you. That's pretty cool. There's a sort of a light going from in there. It's pretty nice. I really like that. Don't know about you guys, but I like it. That's so all. We'll just we'll keep it like this. Should I? No, this one is just ruining it all up. Let's make it a bit lighter. Too much. Now it looks like it really has light going on from there. Make it a bit darker in here. 
because it looks way too light. Now add a bit of light in here and some place in here. That's nice. So there we go. That's pretty much the same thing. <laughs> Boy, it does look cool. <laughs> I didn't expect to get something that decent. Well, it's a huge bump from my last time since I actually got much better at this, but that's pretty much how you make a three-dimensional logo of anything. I chose the Team Fortress 2 logo because I really love Team Fortress 2 and well, if you guys are subscribed to my channel, you're probably aware of that fact since I upload a lot of Team Fortress 2. So um, uh, this guy right here, whoever requested it, this is how you do it. I know this is not my um, typical type of videos that I do because I mostly do gameplay videos and those kind of stuff, but uh, I don't know, I've just seen his request and I was like, eh, whatever, okay, we'll do it. We just need to crop something in here. I just noticed this thing in here. Let me just delete you and you. And also in here, delete you and you. Image, flood an image. That's beautiful. So yeah, that's about it. I hope you guys um, really learned something if you actually wanted to <laughs> learn this how this does answer for you i was just like way too lazy to write you something down like you should do this and that so i just made a video for you um hope it really answered your question so that's about it um i am trying to record some mvm for you guys since you do also request that but uh it's not that easy getting uh, into an mvm fight these days with uh some decent players so uh, I'm still on that but I will make some Team Fortress 2 dodgeball videos which will be pretty decent those are pretty cool sometimes and I don't know maybe some other new stuff besides TF2 we'll see so yeah just uh, make sure to check up and keep with the videos feed because uh, um, maybe one day <laughs> in the next couple months you'll see I'll actually upload something so uh, be sure to look into that. So that's about it. Um, I hope you guys did learn and enjoy this video if you could. I have no idea how people can actually enjoy this, but uh, I hope it was informative and all those kind of stuff. So I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.